So handy key commands also to know are J, K, L. So L speeds forward through the footage. Spacebar will stop it and play it. J will go backwards again. And K will stop if you're going fast forwards or backwards. So let's get when he just takes flight. Or she, I don't know what butterfly gender is. Okay, so and then we set our right point. That's a good, that's a nice little shot of the butterfly. And this, I think this gives us a little bit of uh, atmosphere of where we are. Uh, put that there. So let's let's see where the cut points are here. Okay, so I think. We should end this clip, the butterfly clip, on that cymbal crash. Just there. And we're just going to ignore where this, this cut ends. Okay, nice. Okay. So, we also have some footage of Dave breaking a tree branch against another tree branch. We've got some lens flare here. One thing I didn't say whenever I was shooting was I was using a Sigma lens and... For some parts, um, for the wide views, I was actually using a Sigma 10 millimeter to 14, which gives us ridiculously wide shots. But it's also, um, it's quite an old lens that I have, and it's not of the best quality. Um, so we get a lot of lens flare, which is what I actually wanted to do with it. I think a little bit of um, nice lens flare coming from the sun can just, you know, make it look a little bit nicer, especially in something that we're not really concentrating too much on. This is kind of just an, a nice little video to of the forest to make it look nice, or the woods, woods forest, is there a difference? I don't know, tell me in the comments. Um, so, I think we should have, now that we have kind of where Dave is, we have him walking, we have the forest, we have the butterflies, maybe we would have a little bit of side forest. So I'll set my in point, I'll set my out point, and we'll drag this in just on the video. Then I think we should have Dave looking around kind of as if he's, you know, taking it all in. Very nice, very nice. And one thing that I can actually point out here is in editing, you always cut to the eyes. So you don't want something someone's eyes immediately moving at the end of a clip or at the start of a clip so we're just going to wait until he's got his eyes here we're going to set our in point and as he looks around we're going to set our out point here and we're going to drag this in now let's see how this works with the music Okay, I think that looks quite nice. Maybe a little too long on Dave. So we could see what other shots we have. Maybe we could have a tree close up here. I think that one, the part where it just kind of starts panning upwards, or maybe. So I'm going to use. J to reverse back quickly and just a little bit so from here press my I for set my in point and I'm going to take it till about here take my out point there and we're going to move this in okay what else can we do so we've got some clips of Dave sitting on this tree stump that I've I've showed you we've got him walking through the forest which is actually a really nice clip um because we caught some nice lens flare when he's walking in we've got a slow motion bit here so we can show you that and that's quite a nice quite a nice little clip so let's do that and then we can move on to maybe him breaking some branches and stuff inside this part so i think i'll set my end point just here when he's got his hands are just about to brush away the leaves to set my end points there we go, that's nice. An output there. 
Okay, and we'll drag this in. And then we're going to see, see what else we have. Where's our branch break? So we can use our branch break. And we'll just, just before he hits it, we'll set our in point. There we go. Set our out point. There you go. Smoothly in. All right, what else do we have in? So we have a close up of him kicking leaves. So this is kind of starting to get a little bit more action oriented, <laughs> a little bit, a little bit of excitement with the leaf kicking. So we'll take it just before he kicks, so we can see the see the momentum. Put sharp I for in point. There we go, and we'll just take our out point straight away because I, I've got leaves in my face and I, I scatter quite quickly. So maybe even just while the leaves are still, still all around. Okay, and then we'll take that in there. Notice that I'm building, we're not really paying too much attention to the music now because what we're gonna do is just slowly go through it and start cutting to that. So I did say that this clip of Dave was too long, so let's see if we can get that a little bit closer. Hmm. I think just right there is perfect. And what we can do is select all these clips and move them back to where we want them and that will just they will just all go over this clip so. okay so this clips too long so I think right there is where we want to want to cut that And I think just as this chord changes, we can change the next clip because these clips flow quite well, I think, with the music um, without being on the beat. So if we just have it just just on that just on that note change, we'll zoom in a little bit. We'll cut that up. And we can we can see that it's we can hear that it's here when we scrub through. So we'll do that. Um and then we have some close up. We have a close up of him walking through the forest. So that would be nice, wouldn't it? And we're kind of catching the focus here whenever he's walking. We're not getting this foot in focus. It's so it's nice to have it for a little bit, like maybe here, but we want to regain focus so that we look at it. It looks as if we know what we're doing. So we've got the in point set to here, and we've got the out point set to here. And we're going to drag that in. That's nice. Okay. So then we can, I'm pretty sure we have one of them kind of walking through a part, kind of built up bit of the plants. We've got Dave walking, Dave walking, Dave. So we have, Okay, so we have this one which is walking towards, which kind of makes it look like he's just walking out of the, walking away from where we've just seen him. So, and we can take it from about here, set our end point. As he brushes past that leaf, I'm just gonna put an out point. I'm gonna show you why now. So we're gonna have that there. And then because we have a close-up, if we go to our close-ups, we have a close-up of him brushing this lovely leaf. Leaves, multiple leaves, I guess. So we'll set our in point, and we'll take it, set our out point. And we're just gonna drop that at the end and see how that lines up. 
Okay, so maybe if we have it a little bit sooner, maybe about here, just as his hand kind of comes down and we can pretend that we can pretend that he's actually touching that. And what I'm going to do is just with this guitar ring, I think that's quite nice. So I'm going to move, I'm going to cut this and move both of these up to where this guitar ring is. Because it's almost like Dave's running his hands through the guitar strings, you know, it's, it's, I think it's, it's, it's quite nice like that. Um, okay, so then I think we should move on to the tree stumps, where we have Dave sitting on a tree stump, we have Dave standing at tree stumps, we have Dave looking around while he's at the tree stumps. So I think the best thing to do is have an almost mini establishing shot here of him coming into this area. Now what I've done here is I've made a power focal zoom, which is basically I've zoomed in the whole way with the lens and then as I walk towards Dave, I zoom out and this changes the background and keeps him kind of where he is. This is like a lazy man's power vocal zoom. You, you should be using a dolly, etc. This isn't very, very stable. This is quite a weak one, but I think it's quite nice to use. So in point there, and we'll play it and out point there. So this is Dave's little kind of establishing point of that area. Now we can go out and see where we are in the edit and see, you know, we've still got a little bit left to use all the track if that's what we want to do, or we can just fade it out. We'll see how we go. Okay. So then we can have him, a close up of him looking about. So this is kind of to emulate, that's where he's standing. This is where our wide shots kind of taking us around the other side. Um, that's not a bad shot. Is this one better? Is there much more in it? Not really. I think I I think I actually prefer this one. So we could take it just just before he tilts his head up as if he's in awe of the nature. In point set, and then we'll put our out point there. Fantastic. That's that is a lot of flair. Normally. Most foods you shoot, you don't really want this much, but I quite like it for what it is. And we can also tidy this up a little bit in the grade and take take some of this away. So we'll stick that in there. And then I think we will put some of him sitting. I've got this and he throws a stick at me, I think. Yeah, which doesn't doesn't really look that impressive. I think the second one's closer to the camera. So we could use the second one. Maybe the maybe the clip of him tossing it kind of looks looks okay. Throwing the stick. I like the throwing of the stick, so I'm gonna set my out point. It doesn't need to be in any particular order, in points and out points. So that's where we want it to end. Now I'll put the in point just as he's about to throw it. In point set. There we go, that's quite simple. And we'll drag that into the timeline. And what else do we have around this area? We have a jumping shot, but it's not very exciting. We were hoping that more dirt would fly up in the air or something, but it's not. But I mean, it's quite playful, so that could be. We could use it in point. Out point. Just a little clip of him jumping. I think we should check where the music's at because, you know, some of these things might go quite well. which is fantastic, works very well. Okay, so we have some tree stumps that kind of set the mood for that, but I think we get the idea of um, where he is now. Uh, let's see how much space we have. We can stick We can stick this one in, just tree stump without Dave, set my in point, set my out point there where it's less shaky. And we ha still have some 
We have a wide forest as well, which would be quite nice. Possibly just a little clip of it. Let's have a look at the other one and see what that's like. Use L to speed it up a little bit so we can skip through it. Yeah, that's more of a rotation. I like that rotation. So let's put our in point and our out point there. You'll also notice that this lens is vignetting quite a lot because um, it is so wide that it's, it's not really covering the whole sensor. Um, let's see what else we haven't used. So we have Dave still walking casually, casually through the forest. And we have a close-up snap of a of a twig that isn't as impressive as we were hoping for, but we could use that. We could stick that in. Um, so is the second break any better? It's a little bit better, but because you have to also be careful of your focus, especially um, whenever you're shooting quite quite wide open we were shooting at 1.8 just to try and get you know everything else kind of blurred out and uh it was lack of direction with dave that i didn't give him that he needed to keep his hands in exactly the same place so i could keep that focus and he moved his hands forwards as you can see and it's all went out of focus but for this kind of it's kind of a stylistic kind of look like a stylistic art artistic kind of shot so I think we can keep that in there we'll set our in point I've already set my out point and we'll fling that in um, we've got another close-up of him touching leaf, leaves I don't know what it is about Dave touching leaves but we thought they would make nice man with nature shots he's either destroying nature or he's feeling it <laughs> 